Hey, so welcome to a new series. Today we're going to uh, go through how to make a transform on connector. Uh, transforms allow you to manipulate data that's going in or going out of connector. And we're going to give you a really detailed walkthrough and show you exactly how to do it. So to start with, we're going to open up connectors interface and we are going to open up the application where we want to make the transform. In this case, I've just made a demo app to show you all how to do it. And then we're going to open up the transforms tab and we'll see that there's already a fill temperature here. So I'll make a new one and call that our new uh, replace invalid temp. And we're going to choose right. So operation just dictates whether the transform gets applied during read operations or write operations. The argument can be chosen from device or data, so it depends on what kind of meta fields we want to edit, whether that's data or device information fields, where you can edit things such as last online or other values like that. And I'll just put a brief description here. And then we're going to put our code here. So we're going to go copy that from the template that we link and paste that over here. And there's a small syntax error for me to fix up here. And I can save it. So we can see that replace invalid temp is now active. We go over to our models and we pick the model that we want to apply our transform to. So previously I was playing around with the fill temperature one. We are going to use our new one, replace invalid temp. And let's just make sure everything's fine in the model and we're going to overwrite it. Great. Now that that's all set up, we can start testing it. And the way we test it is we're going to pull up the curl command to send the corresponding data information. So here's a new terminal window and we're going to paste our command here. And just before we do that, we're going to edit the ending with our test device and then we're going to so right now we're going to post one with a temperature of 16 and leave that as usual and that should go through unchanged so let's go over to connector and make sure that's happened so if we go to our devices and we pull up our latest post here's our test device which was posted a minute ago, it's 16 degrees, as we expect, and everything's gone through fine. And then what we're gonna do next is we are going to send a invalid value. So we're gonna go back to our terminal and we're gonna edit that temperature field to be a negative number. And let's see what happens grab our latest data and the latest reading is now 25. You can see that any invalid data fields are now populated with the uh, predefined value that we want them to be filled with. Congrats, you've just made a transform. If you want to go and do that for your own application now, go right ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to cover some tips for implementing transforms. When you're writing the transform JavaScript code, keep in mind that the code needs to be JavaScript 6.4, it has to be synchronous, it has to be smaller than 64 kilobytes, 
and it can't execute for longer than 50 milliseconds. And you currently can't use any external libraries, although there's nothing stopping you from pasting the code in for the library directly. After the data is transformed, it's sent to be validated against the data model. The input to the transform function is the data object hosted by the IoT device. So the transform has access to all the different fields hosted by the device. The transform function will apply some kind of logic to the different fields, and when it's done, it can return three different types of values. It can return a null value, which drops the entire packet. It can return a data object, but slightly modified in some way. Or it can return an array of data objects, which represents multiple data uh, packets. So in the transform we made earlier, we returned a data object. So in this video, we showed you how to put together a transform and apply it to incoming data and how easy it is. If you want to find out more, check out our Exploring Connectors Transforms video.